Hey, we're Action Item! Hey, we're a Hollywood Ending! And you're watching KDC Worldwide. Hey guys, it's Katie C, and welcome back to another episode of Out and About, where today I've got Steven Jerzak. So be sure to subscribe if you want to hear more from me, and check out what happens when I'm out and about with Steven. Hey, what's up? This is Katie C, and I am here with Steven Jerzak. How are you what's doing up? today? I'm great. It's been a good day. That's awesome. So glad to hear it. So how about we get started with some music questions? Cool. You just posted a song called Catch Me Now on YouTube. Can you yes, tell us a little bit about it? Sure. Um, Catch Me Now was, uh, I, well, I started a little earlier. Um, I moved to LA in September. And I was there in hopes of like demoing songs for my record label, but as of December, I'm officially unsigned, so um, I kind of moved out. And Catch Me Now was actually the last song that I wrote, um, co-wrote in LA, so it's pretty cool. I, I met my girlfriend out in LA, so the whole experience there was like it was crazy because I was demoing songs. I met this girl, like this is the first time I've ever really had a girlfriend. So yeah, the lyrics are pretty much based on that experience and being in LA and having her supporting me. Oh, and you also mentioned this is the first of many acoustic songs that are coming out soon. Mm -hmm. What else can you tell us about the new music that you're working on? Well, um, I'm actually, this is the first interview that I've actually announced the title of my EP. So. I'm releasing an EP in May. It's called the Electro Acoustic EP. I'm going back to um, basically where I started. Um, I did the whole Universal Republic thing, tried to do the pop thing, and. Um, I don't know, it just really wasn't what I wanted to do, it was kind of what they wanted me to do, so I'm kind of going back to the original Steven Jerzak sound and just put in some awesome beats with some awesome acoustic guitar playing and making some sweet songs out of it. That's awesome, yeah. so you heard it here first. Yes. But, um, so are you feeling a little bit more excited about getting back to the basics yeah. and starting over and that sort of thing? Yes, very much. Um, this tour has been a great, like... Uh, I don't know, it's just got me really excited, just because I haven't done an acoustic tour since 2009. Alright, now do you prefer playing songs acoustically or electrically? Um, it depends, like, I did Warped Tour last year, and that was all full band electric, and I think that's more suitable for that, like, outdoor kind of, like, craziness, but I mean, I can do both, so that's pretty cool that, um, I have that option, but I like playing acoustic shows, um, it's, it's cool because there's not many people that just go up with their guitar anymore, you know? Yeah, definitely, just sort of stripping it down a yeah, bit. Yeah, it's definitely super personal. I get to talk to people <laughs> like on stage like, hey, what's up? They can hear me. <laughs> so, like right there. <laughs> yeah, I don't even need my mic really. You can just kind of hang out. And though, since you have announced for now that the CP is coming out, mm -hmm. what songs are you most excited for people to hear off the CP? Like, can you reveal that or is it still uh, top secret? I mean, <laughs> I, I don't know. I'm actually releasing a single before the EP. Okay. It's called Survivor. I've talked about that a little bit on, on my blogs and Twitter and stuff, but um, that's a really, it's a really cool acoustic song. It's my favorite one that I've ever written, so I'm excited to release that. It should be coming out in a couple weeks. So, like, what is Survivor about for people who haven't checked out your blogs and things like that? Um, well, as I said, I wrote it in L.A., so, okay. um, it was with my girlfriend and stuff. And, well, when we were, um, like, first getting together, I, I'm not the type to really have a girlfriend. I never have. And whenever I've been on tour previously, I've always been like single. My uh, my single on my album was "Party Like You're Single," and I was all about the single life. And then I met her, and everything changed. And um, all my friends like were kind of looking out for me, and like kind of her. I don't know. Like they they were just like saying things that weren't really appropriate to say. Just like telling her things that weren't true about me, and uh, just like saying that I don't actually want a relationship because she was just, she came to LA to visit and she was going back to Florida so it was just really stupid like some of my closest friends were just like kind of putting me down and like I finally found somebody that I liked and it just like they were trying to like get me away from it so it was kind of about that just um, just kind of avoiding all the lies and all the peer pressure to not be with somebody and I wrote a song about it. Oh, as you did say you are on tour so what have been some of your favorite songs to perform on tour? Um, well, I play Catch Me Now on tour. Um, it's really great because it's the first new song that I've played for a long time, so it gets a pretty good reaction. It's easy to sing along to in the chorus, so everybody starts singing along after the second chorus, which is cool. Um, I love playing Cute. It's like the classic song <laughs> that everybody knows, so that's always really great for the crowd participation. Um, yeah, I mean, those two are my favorite. Okay, and now is there one thing that you absolutely cannot live without when you're on tour? Um, Water, Starbucks. Starbucks really keeps me going every day. If I don't have Starbucks in the morning, I just feel empty all day. <laughs> like, oh, I need some caffeine. But I mean, yeah, it's kind of bad that 
I guess like you could call me a caffeine addict. You know what I mean? Whatever. It's pretty it's pretty tough traveling and waking up and driving hours and hours and not getting much sleep and then doing it again. So I think the caffeine really really adds to my life. Starbucks becomes a way of life after yes. a while. Yes, I, I just I just got my gold membership thing. So oh, awesome! So I'm you're excited. gonna be missing more <laughs> <Yeah>. often. <laughs> okay, so what is the most embarrassing thing you've ever done on stage? Um, I, I don't know if you can count today because I haven't played yet, but I was loading in and I like had my really heavy pedal. I have like a road case for my pedal, and um, I tried to like jump on the stage. It's like I'm at, like three feet, did you say? Three feet high, and I tried to jump on top and I like toe caught and slipped and I fell in front of all the meet and greet fans <laughs> but that's yeah, alright I, I mean I've fallen a couple times like tripped on a cord or I was doing this this guitar solo once in LA and I like hit the drum set by accident I like backed into the drum set and like fell down and I was like rolling and still playing it was crazy what are your upcoming plans after this tour um well after this tour I am going to Nashville like the day after it's done and I'm recording the EP that I mentioned um, I'll be there for like a week, drafting five songs. Um, I'm re-releasing an old song that I did with my friend Dane from Jamestown Story. Um, it's called Come Back Home. It's on iTunes. I released it like three years ago. But um, we thought it'd be fun to redo it, so we're going to redo it now that we're a little older and better. <laughs> so that's going to be fun. Um, I'm going to actually move into Nashville. I've got an apartment there. So as soon as I'm done, I'm going to go back home to Wisconsin and get my stuff move into my apartment and then um, really start like songwriting and co-writing for other artists as well. Starting my career in that that way. Sounds exciting. Yeah. What's up everyone? Steven Jerzak here and you're watching KDC Worldwide.